Hello guys and welcome back. So, last week's video was all about coronavirus and its latest updates in India, right? So right now, for this week, our main topic is the locust attack. Well, some of you may not know about this, but to make sure that you all know this is happening in our country, let us see about it deeply because it's a nightmare come true okay let's go inside right now so right now first of all let us discuss something about what is locust and a few facts about them okay so locusts are a collection of certain species of short on grasshoppers in the family acridae that have a swarming face well i don't know how to pronounce this thing that good okay these insects are usually solitary but under certain circumstances they become more abundant and change their behavior and habits becoming gregarious no taxonomic distinction is made between locust and grasshopper species the basis for the definition is whether a species forms swarms under intermittently suitable conditions okay so let's move on so these grasshoppers are normally innocuous their numbers are low and they do not pose a major economic threat to agriculture yes however under suitable conditions of drought followed by rapid vegetation growth serotonin in their brains triggers a dramatic set of changes and they start to breed abundantly becoming gregarious and also nomadic when their populations become dense enough nomadic means they are migratory to be honest they form bands of wingless nymphs which later become swarms of winged adults both the bands and the swarms move around and rapidly strip fields and cause damage to crops the adults are powerful flyers they can travel great distances consuming most of the green vegetation wherever the swarm settles the desert locust is a species of locust a periodically swarming short horned grasshopper in the family acridae well this desert locust actually is attacking our india okay so that is why i thought like why don't we add a little bit more about the desert locust too okay so they are usually found in africa arabia west asia and also extending into the parts of south asia during population surge years they may extend into the parts of western spain the desert locust shows periodic changes in the body form and can change in response to environmental conditions over generations from a solitary shorter winged highly fecund non migratory form to a gregarious long winged and migratory phase in which they may travel long distances into new areas in some years they may thus form locust plagues invading new areas where they may consume all vegetation including crops and at other times they may live unnoticed in small numbers it is one of the most devastating migratory pests in the world and it is highly mobile and feeds on large quantities of any kind of green vegetation including crops pasture and fodder a typical swarm can be made up of 150 million locusts per square kilometer and is carried on the wind up to 150 kilometers in one day even a very small 1 square kilometer locust swarm can eat the same amount of food in one day as about 35000 people yes that is why these locusts are very devastating it's an international transboundary pest which threatens agricultural production and livelihoods in many countries in africa the middle east and south and southwestern asia it's a migratory nature and capacity for rapid population growth present major challenges for control particularly in the remote semi arid areas which characterize much of the distribution area locusts and grasshoppers are the same in appearance but locusts 
can exist in two different behavioral states that is solitary and also gregarious whereas most grasshoppers do not okay so right now we shall be discussing about the differences between locust and a grasshopper well mostly about what is a locust when the population density is low locusts behave as individuals much like grasshoppers however when the locust population density is high individuals undergo physiological and behavioral changes known as phase polyphenism and they form gregariously behaving bands of nymphs or swarms of adults yep it's true now let's see a few more interesting facts about locust okay so now desert locusts have two phases as we know they are the solitary phase and the gregarious phase this is a type of polyphenism it has been shown that solitary locust nymphs and adults can behave gregariously within a few hours of being placed in a crowded situation while it takes gregarious locusts one or more generations to become solitary when reared in isolation so which means this exact point means that if you can take any solitary locust nymphs or any solitary adults they will behave gregariously only when they are placed in a few hours of a crowded situation if there are many locusts near the adult locust then it will start behaving very gregariously but these gregarious locusts take one or more generations to become solitary only when they are reared in isolation means when they are reared not in not like in, in a much crowded space okay so there are differences in the morphology and behavior between the two phases okay so right now we shall be distinguishing between the solitary phase and also the gregarious phase so as to make you people understand what the main difference between these two phases in the solitary phase the hoppers which means in this case the locusts do not group together into bands but they move about independently their coloring in the latter instars tend to be greenish or brownish to match the color of the herbage the adults fly at night and are also colored so as to blend into their surroundings the immature adults being gray or beige and the mature adults being a pale yellowish color now let us discuss about the gregarious phase in the gregarious phase the hoppers bunch together and in the latter instars develop a bold coloring with black markings on a yellow background the immatures are pink and the and these mature adults are bright yellow and fly during the day in dense swarms so right now in our in our country india we are facing the main problem with the gregarious phase of the hoppers okay so now let us start with the main topic of this video that is the locust invasion in india so if you still want to know more about locust you can rewind the video and you can start it from the beginning okay so now let's start the main focus of this point that is the main parts of the invasions of the locust in our india so at a time when india is grappling with the covid-19 a locust crisis is swarming over the northern part of the country with several states issuing advisories to prevent a desert locust attack with india battling the worst desert locust outbreak in three decades the crop destroying insects have now spread to punjab gujarat maharashtra and onto madhya pradesh after arriving in rajasthan okay so actually right now our country india is already fighting over this covid-19 crisis right so one week ago it was 166000 right after a week think how much it must have increased so at this kind of a time we are facing with this locust crisis in our country and this is is caused by the desert locust which is in rajasthan so all of these locusts have now turned in, into their gregarious phase and they are back they are back into our country after 30 after 30 years 
Yes, after 30 years, they're back into our country, destroying the crops in Punjab, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajasthan. The first, the first state, the first state which was attacked was Rajasthan, actually. Okay. Now, several successive wave of invasions could be expected till July in Rajasthan, with eastward surges across northern India, as far as Bihar and Orissa followed by a westward movements and a return to Rajasthan on the changing winds associated with the monsoon. These movements will cease as swarms begin to breed and become less mobile. Swarms are less likely to reach South India, the UN body said in its latest update. By this latest update, I mean a few days ago. A few days ago, the UN body said that these swarms are less likely to reach South in India. Okay? So, how come these all locusts have, have spread across the northern side? This is due to the monsoon winds. As we have discussed previously, when we were talking about locust attacks, I mean, what is a locust? We have also learned this point that the locusts move along with the wind. So, that is what is happening in this place. The locusts are following the wind. Wherever the monsoon winds takes them, they will go there. Now, according to the Locust Warning Organization, or in short, LWO, which monitors locust swarms, there is no immediate danger of the swarms heading towards Delhi, which means Delhi is quite safe. The insects feed on a large variety of crops. Well, if they're, if they're not controlled, the locust swarms can threaten the food security of the country. It is true. As we have discussed, if these locusts, if they are only a small, that is a one square kilometer dense, they can eat up to food that 35,000 people will eat in a day. The current locust attack was, was categorized into three regions across the world by the FAO. That is, the eastern region including India, Pakistan, Iran and Afghanistan and the central region including countries in the Horn of Africa and the western region including West African countries. So right now this current lo locust attack is being is uh, being uh, in all of these countries that's India, Pakistan, Iran and Afghanistan mainly. That's the eastern region and also the Horn of Africa and the African countries also. Now this picture as you can see this entire picture shows the places where the locusts are invading in India and I can also explain how they are invading India so as you can see here this is Rajasthan and these are these red dots are the places which have been hit and which are being devastated by the locusts okay so Rajasthan is the first place which has been hit by the locust so from Rajasthan, due to these monsoon winds, due to these monsoon winds, which continues till June, it made these locusts fly to Madhya Pradesh. So from Madhya Pradesh, it is also spread to Bihar and many other places, including Maharashtra and currently in also the southern countries. So all of these places are being attacked by locusts. And it has been also said that it will continue till June. Now, let us talk about a few states which have been extremely destroyed by these locusts. And our first in our list is Uttar Pradesh. Okay, with the desert locust already arriving in Jhansi, the Prayagraj the district administration has started preparing for a possible attack. The swarm of the locusts is expected to spoil the crops and trees of the region to a great extent. In the wake of possible locust attack in the city, we have tested the machines and now we are prepared to deal with it. ANI quoted Jay Kumar Sharma, the member of the team fighting against the locust attack, as saying, Meanwhile, in the Jansi district, where the locusts have invaded thrice in the past one week, an agriculture department official told that PTI that the rigorous spraying of insecticides 
helped the administration in containing the threat as the swarms had scattered to other areas. So which means insecticides quite help. It does not help very much, but it helps quite a bit. It's because these insecticides help them to move from the place to another place. So which means whenever you find any locust attack near you, make sure that you contact the government and you and those government people will be spraying insecticides. So it's it's also said that you guys have to stay home. Now the next in our list is Maharashtra. The farmers in villages along the Maharashtra Gujarat border have been asked to step up vigil, especially at night on their fields for a potential attack of locust swarms. These desert locusts, which feed on vegetation, recently invaded Chikaldara, Morshi, Bavarud, Katol, and Ramtek areas in the Vidarbha region. State Agriculture Minister Dada Saheb Bhuse said a swarm of locusts had entered the Am Amaravati district from Madhya Pradesh on May 24th. But the Agriculture Department and farmers managed to initiate quick measures to destroy them. Now, as per the latest update, the locusts can now enter the areas adjacent to the Gujarat border, such as Palgar, from the neighboring states. The next in our list, you'll not believe it, it is Tamil Nadu. Yes, Tamil Nadu, it is the southernmost country of India. Swarms of a locust species attack banana, rubber, and other crops in parts of plantation dominated districts such as Nilgiris of Tamil Nadu causing concern among farmers. Farmers in the Puvan Kodu and, and Vianur in the Kanyakumari district bordering Kerala also claimed that the locusts had affected the banana and the rubber crops, PTI reported. However, the state government on Saturday said that these were the native grasshoppers and they were not the desert locusts. It advised the farmers to use bio-insecticide like neem seed oil to protect agriculture and horticulture crops. An expert committee from the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University understood an inspection in the Nilgiris and the Krishnagiri districts and he found that the species which affected the crops in, the, in these districts in the Western Ghats region were the local grasshoppers. So they need not worry most about this stuff. However, as a precaution, the collectors of Thani, Coimbatur, Th Tirupur, e Erod, Tirupattur, Nilgiris, Kanyakumari and, and Tenkasi, most of which bordering neighboring states, have been directed to maintain a vigil and take appropriate preventive measures. In the last in our list and the, the end of our video is Andhra Pradesh. Yes. The locust crisis hit Andhra Pradesh on Thursday with swarms destroying planted crops in the, in the Dasapa Road, Raya Durga in the Anantapuram district. There are reports that the desert locusts might even move towards the central coast of Andhra Pradesh from Krishna and West Godavari districts. A report in the Hindu quoting an agrometeorologist from the Agricultural Research Station at the Rekula Kunta in Anantapura said that these desert locusts would move towards the Krishna and West Godavari districts after touching the Karim Nagar, Jagityal and also the, the Nalgonda areas in the Telangana going by present indications such as wind direction. While a locust invasion has been ruled out in the, the districts of Anantapura, Kadappa or Chittur, some places in this Karnul might be affected. Okay, so this is our end of the video and in this video as you can see we have discussed about what is a locust and we have also discussed about the main uh, places in which the locust has attacked in our country and also in our neighboring countries. So and also the main advice I'll be giving you guys is please make sure that you stay in your home and don't move away from your home is because this coronavirus as we all know about it this coronavirus issue is becoming serious day after day which 
makes it more scarier, right? It makes it more scarier for us. So due to that, I'm saying you with all my heart and my love towards all of you that please stay at home and enjoy with your family members. This is the time when you can enjoy with your family members very much happily. Okay? So, all right then. Goodbye and take care of yourselves and your families. Bye.